All right, so our longtime goal for this little area has always been to install a greenhouse. Now, these are hopes and dreams that we all have, and we all know that most of these hopes and dreams won't ever happen, or if they do, it's in a, you know, galaxy far, far away, five years, 10 years down the road. So for now, what we decided to do is just buy a very cost effective, or not effective, efficient, cheap. How do you say cheap, fancy? We'll just say cheap. So we bought a cheap greenhouse. It's 10 by 20. I bought it on Wayfair. I think I paid $167 for it. I bought the five year warranty uh, for like 30 bucks. What sold it for me was it was like galvanized steel for the frame. So if anything, like I got to replace the tarp, I'm going to not be out too much because, you know, it's the frame where, where it matters. So we're going to install a 10 by 20 right here. So then we can just uh, use it as needed until we can upgrade our greenhouse. So let's get this greenhouse in. Okay, what I've done is I've trenched it out and moved some of the grass to save you know, a mud pit. And then, here's the anchors I'm using. These are 10 inches long. Oh, I'm sorry, three by 15 is what it says right there. So I just put them there down in the trench. Hold on, I'm making a video. This is my mascots. So I put those down in there and then I'm gonna run that through the eye of this anchor and that should do it. Then when that's done, I'm going to set this whole frame down in that trench and then I'm going to backfill it with, uh, I think it's just whatever gravel. I was gonna tell you the size, but I'd probably tell you wrong. So I'm just gonna say gravel. And then we're done on that side. I moved these bars already and yes, that is absolutely the way to go. So make sure you put your bars on the inside of your greenhouse so you don't tear your tarp. All right, luckily it's raining too. And here we have it. I was able to put this thing up in one day and I am super pleased with it. I bought it on Wayfair for only $166. I ended up getting the five year warranty, which is only like 20 more dollars. So totally worth it. Um, the, it says everything was stainless steel and then uh, the tarp that goes over top has two built in doors front and back and then it's got 12 vents, six on each side. Let's see inside. Inside, it is a 10 by 20 foot, and the top center portion is seven feet tall. I give this thing a 10 out of 10. Definitely, definitely pleased with it. I will say putting it up was a bit of a challenge. It would definitely have helped if I had someone else there to hold some of these posts in place while I put them together. But so the directions recommend digging a small trench, like maybe two, two inches deep on the sides for for the frame to sit down in just two inches down shovel width apart and that do it so the reason being is that'll prevent just weeds um, from growing up there it'd be better to maintain a nice trim on it without getting close to the fabric with a weed whacker and then also I think it's supposed to help prevent like air from going under there whatever I also bought some anchors, so that's what we're going to be doing. All right, the couple things that I did wrong through this process. Um, the instructions were not that great. I wasn't sure if I put these posts on the outside or inside, so I did half and half, just not thinking. It's just the way it turned out. And uh, then when I put the tarp on, I realized that they absolutely should be on the inside because it helps keep the tarp from rubbing up against the the corner pieces and everything so you see right here when I move it back and forth if I left that go right there it would eventually create a tear right there in the fabric so in order to prevent that I have to take all of these bolts out take this post apart and then I'm gonna put it on the inside please be quiet and then we're gonna go from there all right let's get to it all right go start digging some go start digging some gravel all right where do I put it get to work okay I was able to dig that trench no problem i anchored the inside now all i need to do is mulch I have no issues found some more cardboard At the bottom of that tarp or the canopy i tucked underneath the poles just to 
that should retain more heat, keep the outside edge clean, and um, yeah. So yeah, it's looking really well. All right, let's finish it. All right, so I ended up burying the frame uh, just two inches, and then I was gonna do gravel, like I said, probably 10 minutes or ago, and uh, I decided just to do mulch. Just the reason being, I didn't want the gravel to get up against the barrier, uh, the plastic, and then it, just many reasons. When I weed whack, or if I were to mow, then I'd have rocks there. And then also, if uh, when we, what we want to do in the future is put a root cellar right here. And so if we dig this out, I didn't want to put more rocks in it than there naturally would be. Get out of that sinkhole, Liam. So you remember that hole that was here, I filled that. So, and then I put some grass here that was, I, you know, trenched out. So inside, it's looking pretty good. I got the half side mulched. That's uh, just just one yard, so it's gonna take two yards. I'm gonna do that side, and then uh, I'm out of cardboard. So that's all I'm gonna do with the cardboard, but should be fine. Very pleased with it so far. Can't think of anything else at this point that I would share with you, but all in all, the process is going very well. All right, let's wrap this video up. So it is now October 26th. We've used this greenhouse throughout all of this year and it's been phenomenal. I really don't have any complaints about it. We had some pretty serious storms this year and this thing was completely unfazed. Trial and error, you can see we put a shade cloth on it. We've opened up the sides too. We need to close those, I guess, now that it's in the colder months because we're gonna try and grow all year round. But initially, when we set this up, we couldn't get anything to grow in there because the sun was so intense. <clears throat> so we did some research, realized we needed a shade cloth. I think this uh, puts out like 40% of the sun, so it works out very well. Like I said, it's got two doors in the back. Um, can't even really see that I mulched it around the sides this year, but I did, and I successfully made it through a whole year without hitting it with my mower or weed whacker. Yes! So there's that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go inside. It is a little messy, uh, just because with it being the end of the year and we had a kid this year, so it, I'm making excuses, but it's, it's kind of a mess. So don't judge us too hard, but I think you're gonna like what you see. All right, so in the summer, we had both these doors rolled up and you can see just the collection line of debris that it created there, no issues just wipe it right off, but it was really neat to have this this going all year round. Ooh, it is at least 10 degrees warmer in here. So you can see everything is doing very well in here. We got these grow beds from these little racks from another greenhouse that shut down. Shout out to my buddy who hooked me up with that. We got tomatoes still flourishing in October. So we also, my uh, wife hooked up this drip irrigation system so we plug it in here and then you can get these different nozzles that either squirt a stream of water or spray a mist and you can control how much that does you know regulate the flow so that did super well this year so aside from from everything the the additions we made the shade cloth the drip irrigation all of this it's really contributed to a successful first year in the greenhouse so I really don't have any complaints to say. No tears in it. You know, for a cheap starter out greenhouse, I think this is the way to go. So if you like what you see, you know, go check out Wayfair and, you know, get you one. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe. I hope this video helps you in your endeavors to become a modern pioneer. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> kind of got eaten up by the tomatoes, but whatever. <laughs> Alright guys, be safe.